Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 9th video in VCP8 data center virtualization 2023 video series and in this video we are going to see how to configure multi-pathing network for storage access. So why do we need a multi-path? So let's say if in your infrastructure your storage is connected with ESXi host with a single interface or you can say single, uh, uh, single connection then if your ESXi host uh, uh, basically cable go goes went or the connection goes went uh, down uh, which is connected to storage uh, uh, with the ESXi host then your complete virtual machine can go down so that's why you need a minimum uh, two path to access your storage through ESXi host so basically having make sure you have a redundant access to your storage so in this video you can see here this is a typical environment where you can see we got a two one storage and basically two storage box with two controllers and each uh, ESXi each storage is connecting to both the sand switch storage storage switch one and storage switch two and then your ESXi host is connecting also with the switch one and switch two. So in this example, you can see here the top host connection is going to switch number two and the bottom one storage connection is coming to switch one. So your ESXi host got connection with both SAN switch one and switch two. So in case this card one goes fail on the ESXi it will still have access through card 2 to your storage if card 2 goes fail it, it it will still have access through card 1 to storage let's say if your SAN switch goes down it will have access to your storage by using SAN switch 2 similar way if your controller one of the controller goes down in your storage the storage will be accessible through sense uh, uh, controller too. So this is how you can design your multi-pathing environment in your storage connectivity. So this is one of the critical and important part when you are designing your solution. Uh, basically, with the storage, how you can connect your storage with ESXi host or your, you know, VMware infrastructure. So make sure you have a redundant path, and you have multiple path to access your uh you know storage so uh, you can even put your four sand switches in between here so and uh you can uh use the two or four ports on the sand uh, on the esxi host side side to connect with your sand switches and then those four sand switch can connect to your esxi host so based on uh you know requirement how how critical your infrastructure what is your budget is going to allow you can design it so in this lab i'm going to show you how we can set up multi-pathing but i'm going i'm going to use the ethernet based networking so in last video we have created iSCSI server so i'm going to configure this this kind of same infrastructure with iSCSI uh, network and we are going to use iSCSI server target server to access the storage so this is what we have in this demo environment so we got same servers which we used in last video so I got my domain controller. This is a ESX, uh, basically iSCSI server which we created and configured in last video. If you want to go and review, you can go and review. And these are the two ESXi hosts. So on now on an ESXi host, you will see here iSCSI NIC1, iSCSI NIC2. So this is what I was talking here. So this is NIC1, this is NIC2, and I'm config uh, I'm configuring this over IP. So I'm using iSCSI, and same thing goes with iSCSI ESXi2 also. So you can see here. So now uh, you you can see the physical network adapter relocation and assignment. So I got my two ESXi hosts, ESXi0, ESXi1, and uplink VM NIC. I'm going to use six and seven, which is going to be last. So if I show you here. What I got on all my ESXi host I got eight basically eight NIC connected so if you see here I got total eight NIC connected so last last two I'm going to use for storage and rest I'm going to use uh, in upcoming videos we are going to dis deploy distributed switches for management and you know 
uh, vm vm access and um, v motion all so we will use there but last two nicks i'm going to use so you see here total eight nicks and if i show you on esxi host you will see here in configure you will see uh, eight nick and vm seven v, vm nick seven and uh, six and seven which i was talking here you can see configured is, speed is 10 gig this is good so these two nicks i'm vm nick i'm going to use any storage is the location and i'm going to configure these ip so how you can do that so now you need to go to on switch and you will see here by default one switch is created which is standard switch zero so i'm going to create one new switch here which is going to be basically vm kernel adapter so i'm going to click here and then uh, select an existing switch or create a standard switch so i'm going to create a new standard switch so switch name i'm going to add my both nick and move down so it will go in active adapters now click next so i have added to a vm nick so i'm going to type here iskc nick 01 and vlan is i'm going to leave default rest all setting click next and i'm going to configure ip address which is given here so triple one and two double one so one ten dot ten dot ten dot triple one and two five five two five five two five five dot zero it does not require you know gateway and all so click next now let's click on finish so now you will see here now one switch one is created and it got ip address configured but it has both nick connected so what we need to go do here i'm going to add one more nick here vm kernel so existing switch which is going to be switch one click next and this is going to be my i i is to see i is to see nick zero two and next and i'm going to use configure ip address so this is going to be two dot this and then click next and done now you will see here we got two iskc management you can say vm kernel adapter configured but both having access to both these physical adapters which we need to remove so go on edit setting and if you go and traffic and uh, basically teaming and failover you will see here so i'm going to assign this seven to move down and unused so it will use nick one is going i see nick one is going to use uh, vm nick six and this is going to use seven so i'm going to edit this so override and i'm going to move this six down here so now you will see this is configured so i see nick 2 having access to i'm going to have access to storage with this vm nick 7 and this is going to have access with vm nick 6 so same thing let's do on one more time on esxi host 2 just to make sure we are uh, you are following so new standard switch click next and then add the ports move down uh, move down move to active adapters click next and then call it i is to see nick one and click next configure ip so it's going to be a 12 and then it's going to be same click next and finished and then you will see the switch is created and now I'm going to click on add a network one more time click next and then new standard switch click next and then what i'm going to do uh, from here existing switch switch one this time click next and then this is going to be iskc2 next configure the ip address so it should be basically 
done now we need to remove this next so traffic and failover override move seven down unused so this is done now here go and edit setting so go here move override so move six down okay so this is also configured so now this is basically how you can configure your physical adapter to use a ISKC with the highly available infrastructure with the multipath network access for storage. So in next video, I'm going to mount the, uh, the storage from ISKC target server to these ESXi hosts. So thank you for watching. This is all about in this video. So please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query, any question related to this, you can always post me in my given mail address. Thank you once again. Bye bye.